Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hitman. Do you ever get that feeling, that I haven't murdered anybody in about two weeks feeling? Well boy, do I have a solution for you. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Gabriel Santos, a celebrity super chef and an example of the immunity granted by wealth and public life. He has evaded any consequences to his career following a stream of assaults on assistants, producers and staff. The target will be in Paris, providing luxury catering for Viktor Novikov and Dalia Mogolis, and will have an entourage of social media producers and assistants around him at all times. The client, a former investor in Santos's production company, specifically requests that the target be eliminated tonight. So, our operational window is slim. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Okay, it seems like this guy's not really a villain in the same way that a lot of our previous targets have been villains. He's just kind of an asshole. But, I mean, the money's right, and also, you know, we don't need... How many assholes does the world really need, anyway? I think nobody will miss this one. Also, I realized immediately after I said that thing that I said before clicking on that, this is not a solution for your feeling of not having murdered people. It's a solution for mine. But, you know, you can have some vicarious thrills here. So, obviously... We're bringing this nice, nice classic silenced pistol. It looked like the guy was going to be in the upstairs serving area and in the downstairs kitchen. So a basement starting position uh, would seem to make a lot of sense. I don't know if we want to be a chef, though. I guess we can't start as any job that's allowed to be in the basement except for the chef. But the chef will give us a, a reasonable start, at least. We almost certainly don't need the fiber wire. Now, we have completed enough jobs on Silent Assassin, enough of these uh, elusive targets on Silent Assassin, that we don't actually need this to go down Silent Assassin in order for us to, you know, get all the rewards. But I do feel like we should, at the very least, try to get there. It'll be an interesting challenge. It sounds like the guy's going to have people around him constantly, and I'm, uh, I'm interested in seeing if we can pull this off. So, he's a chef. That doesn't necessarily mean he'll be eating the food himself. But why don't we bring this and see if we can maybe make something out of it. Uh, we don't need coins. There's never any shortage of throwables. We will, uh, we will have distractions available to us. We could bring a remote audio distraction. I mean, if I'm going to bring a distraction, I'm going to bring Napoleon Blown Apart. He's just the most versatile tool in the whole game. And I love him very much. And then we get to smuggle something in. What could we possibly need aside from all of the really great stuff that we already have? I suppose injected lethal poison, you know, in case we don't have an opportunity to poison food, but we could maybe, maybe we just get like a moment alone with him, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you. It doesn't feel like we're going to need anything to be smuggled in at all. We could just have a really big gun brought in and shoot him with a really big gun for the, uh, for the drama of it. He's got all those people following him around, like, constantly taping him with their phones and stuff. Taping. How old am I? Constantly recording him with their phones and stuff. Maybe, maybe that would look real cool on social media. He's just cooking and maybe he's, like, yelling at a guy because it sounds like that's what he does. And suddenly his whole head explodes. But, I mean, we're going to roll this way. Let's, let's give this a shot. So as a reminder, the rules here. Uh, we only have a, a few days to begin the contract. If we die... It is over. My Steam account cannot retry. So let's not screw this up. We are allowed to retry the contract uh, up until the point that we have accomplished the objective. If I shoot the dude and then we get caught, I'm just going to have to deal with it. This is another one of those things like I know that part of this part of the whole idea here is that all of these targets have some serious hubris going on. But if I was a person who was routinely horrible to everyone around me, I would never go to this particular palace in France where bad people always die. Sometimes in mysterious ways, sometimes by obviously being shot in the face, because I definitely have done some of that. It just, it just, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to be a person who believes in curses or jinxes or anything, but this place is obviously cursed, right? A vengeful spirit haunts it. All right, now part of the reason I don't want to be a chef is I'm a little concerned that he's going to be familiar with the kitchen staff. Welcome to Paris. So we might want to dump this, in place and has begun this outfit. Live stream. 
This place is him currently in the palace kitchen area, but his movements are notoriously erratic. This might be better, his maybe. Staff have been cleared to pass all security checkpoints, while other staff will be following their normal security protocols. All right, as long as we're down here, we may as well grab the key, which is right over, yeah, right over here somewhere. Also, this pipe. Again, just stuff to throw. Also, this propane flask, you know, just stuff to throw. I mean, that's him. Can I? I can't just throw this flask at him and blow it up. That's not going to be okay, right? People are going to be like, hey, guy, what are you doing? But there's probably some version of this that works. What if I... We could leave Napoleon in this wastebasket, but I really do want to try to figure out a way to get Silent Assassin here. Hold on. Is he going to taste that? He's going to taste that, isn't he? Smile for that extra tip. Yeah, thanks. Think of how good that picture will look. I mean, he's saying, is this poisoned, but he, it looked like he did try it, right? Am I just going to put poison in there and wait? I kind of want to just whip this propane flask in front of him and blow it up. That does count as an accident. Nobody thinks this is weird. I'm just, you know, I'm here to refuel the ovens after you leave, that's all. Oh, actually, I can't... See, you can, uh, you can put poison into most of these pots, but I can't, I'm not allowed to poison the one he's actually going to eat out of. Shoot, okay. Well, let's try to follow him a little bit. I'm not actually going to be allowed upstairs in this outfit. I kind of wish we had some, like, super agent slow motion ability. I could, like, whip this up into the air and then shoot it when it's right above his head. That would be pretty cool. But I guess part of being a silent assassin is not accidentally killing a bunch of extra people. God, I sure could shoot him in the back of the head right now, though, couldn't I? No, we're gonna be we're gonna be professional about this. We're gonna, you know, I'm gonna continue being professional like I'm being right now. I could just conk this lady on the head with this. Okay, so he goes into the other kitchen. Am I allowed to be in here? I think I am, right? Yeah, yeah. This These outfit is cool. Kitchens and the guests out front. When they carry one of these babies out, they only get one first impression. So, it's all about the details, the edges, the colors, all of it. This? Just Greetings, take all these free knives, if you don't mind. Stop trying to cook and actually start cooking. God! I mean, this guy doesn't seem like that much of a jerk. I wouldn't want to work for him, but he's hes not even really at, like, a Gordon Ramsay level here. Oh. Are you kidding me right now? Would you get out of the way? Ah, prick. Hey, who okay. are you? What? This guy. I kind of upset that guy a little bit more than I intended. Uh, is this gonna... You know what? I may be panicking a little, a little tiny bit. Put the gun away, put the gun away, put the gun away. I need help now. You better start well, concentrating on what's going on around here. I saw this man That's not exactly Silent Assassin, but you know what? I'm gonna <laughs> Yep, that's kind of the opposite of Silent Assassin. Alright, that's my bad. I pa I panicked, but it's sure Oh no, my door. My favorite exit is blocked off. They know. Is that is that the helicopter? Am I really only... Okay, the helicopter and the speedboat are still active. Can I not just leave through the front? Hold on, let's look at the map here. No, okay, we can still leave through the front. It's just the just the one down here that I like to use that they've creatively blocked off. Well, I think we should be fine to just leave. I don't feel super great about it. It wasn't exactly... Uh, wasn't exactly expert mode change back into this chef disguise and I think we'll be able to go upstairs here and just walk out okay 
I swear to God, on the next one, I'm not just going to drop an explosive in front of them. But you know, I think I may actually have avoided getting recorded. This was pretty close to a silent assassin. Sort of. I know the part of it that I failed was the big conspicuous part, but a lot of parts of it were pretty silent assassin-y. Boy, 47 shows up in a chef's outfit that he stole from somewhere that is just like covered in- do you see how much blood was on it? Could try to look a little less conspicuous. Also, I completed a challenge. Where did we end up on that? Yeah, see, a lot of that was pretty good. I didn't actually kill anybody, uh, kill anybody extra. I would argue that I should, I wasn't, like, totally spotted. People would have a pretty good idea it was me, but nobody has any proof. And you know what? That's what I call professionalism. I like to set the bar really low so that I can occasionally clear it. Well, that was a real easy one. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a little harder and we're gonna be a little bit more creative. And we'll see you then.